Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my wave box for December. I feel like this month has... I think it was pretty close to the fastest I've ever gotten my whiff box from ordering out the first. Um, it shipped out really fast and then obviously I had to wait for it to come get to me. So I can't wait to go through that. I did order a couple bars that released in one in clearance. <laughs> so I wanted to just talk about this quickly, quickly and then we'll get to the whiff box. Spiced apple chestnut. This was available last year. So this is actually in clearance right now. I just had to get another bar of it. I do like the scent. I took it out of my club. Did I put it in my club? I feel like I put it in and I took it out. But I was like, well, it's still in clearance and I'm already making an order. I may as well just pop it into this one. It's really just like a spiced apple scent. I do really like it. Um, but like I said, it's not my club. So popped it in this order. And then we had the Frozen 2 collection come back. I was like, thinking like the Olaf collection. Olaf's in the movie. Um, so we had three cents return. We have uh, Frozen 2 Fearless by Nature. This is kind of, it's really unique. It's like a sage and like frosty air type scent. It's, it's very fresh for sure. This one I had never smelled. It's the North Calls. And I have to be honest, I never saw Frozen 2. I saw the first Frozen like so many times. We would watch it after work and high school um, during our summer job. We would watch it all the time. I don't know why we did that, but we would. And also I want to point out, this is an older bar. To me, this is like fresh and a little bit fruity. The bottom is also kind of like fruity, like almost summery in a way. I don't know. I'm very intrigued to try this bar. I don't know that I, like, is it super popular? I'm not entirely positive. I feel like it is kind of getting a little bit discolored on the front from the back. Don't know if that's me being paranoid. I think it's fine still, but I don't know that I would want to hold on to it forever. It's kind of a cross between like fruity fresh and giving me a little bit of I'm at the hair salon. <laughs> I hate, oh sorry, I hate bringing that up like the hair salon because I feel like some people, you know, like me personally, I just have this memory of the hair salon. It's like the hairspray smell choking you out. But sometimes I feel like things I smell give me reminiscent feelings of going to the hair salon as a kid. So then the last one is Olaf. This is by far my favorite in my club. Never take it out. Uh, Never took it out, like, for this return of this collection. Never going to take it out. Corey smelled this and he goes, this is fresh ice. I'm like, yeah, it's in our club. It is like fresh ice's younger brother. To me, it doesn't have that sandalwood note, so it's not as sharp as fresh ice, but it's a very, very similar scent. So, um, my husband didn't realize... It was a different scent even. Like he smelled it and he was like, this is fresh eyes. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, but never mind. Okay, let's talk with Fox. I have seen a brief spoiler that I scrolled past when I realized it was a spoiler of the Whiff Box. And I think I seen like a couple bars in it and I just saw the color. I didn't see the names. So I feel like I'm pretty safe that I didn't see any spoilers. I've been trying to be really good about not looking for spoilers. Um, sometimes... I will get into the habit like, oh, it's already this far in the month. Like if I just see a spoiler, like whatever, like then I'll go searching for them. So I try to be good. I try not to see spoilers, but obviously I know I'm not ever going to be the first person to get my whiff box in the month. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay. I'm going to open it live because I feel like that's more fun. Hope nothing falls out. Okay. Okay. That was, um, not eventful. <laughs> Okay, let's move this together. Oh, sneak peek. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of the gist I got in the uh, preview I saw. Okay, tis the season for sweets. Uh, homemade hot chocolate. Four cups of your preferred milk. Oh, it's a recipe for homemade hot chocolate. I don't need to read the recipe. Or isn't a hot chocolate, so that's fun. Uh, the holiday season is wrapping up, but that doesn't mean you have to put away the treats. Just as the season is filled with days of coming together to eat delicious meals and scrumptious desserts with your loved ones, your December whiff box is full of fun products and sweet fragrances to ensure to inspire 
sure to inspire you to keep the festivities going. Okay, it's gonna be sugary sweet. Okay, they have some like um, thicker, I like this. I like this thicker, uh, can, not confetti, what, is, what do you call this? The, the stuff. <laughs> guys know what I'm talking about. Like uh, the packing paper. I like that. Okay. So we definitely have two bars, a uh, hand cream of some sort and a whip, uh, fragrance flower. So let's start with the bars. Oh, I just saw what one of these bars is and oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. The first one <laughs> is Coran Apple Crumble. This is one of my favorites of the new releases. I have the notes right here, actually. This is... Uh, cran apple brown sugar and whipped cream 100 this is so good you guys i really really like this one it's like an apple crumble i love the apple in it and i love the bakery part of it it's really good okay i can't hold myself back we have to talk about this bar i was like what is the color of this bar like what is this bar i'm like trying to think i'm like okay it's not perfect day that's not sweet like what is this it's marshmallow mint cocoa. You guys, <laughs> I have this in my club. I have multiple bricks. OMG, if you have not gotten your hands on this scent, oh, you guys, oh my God, it is marshmallow mint cocoa. I'm, I'm thrilled. This is like an Andy's mint, the mints they serve at Olive Garden after your dinner. I love this scent. Corey doesn't actually like this scent. It's very like peppermint hot chocolate type vibes. Oh, I can't believe this is in here. Oh, it's, it, it's marshmallow and cocoa. Like I have this in my club. It's not in this packaging, but oh my gosh. I feel like so many people miss out on this. I'm so excited for you guys. <laughs> I have this scent, but I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is in here. Okay, let's keep digging. We have a coconut daiquiri hand cream. I feel like this doesn't entirely fit the sweet festivities for the season, but I'll take it. I actually ended up wrapping up one of my coconut daiquiri hand creams for a Christmas gift that um, Corey is going to gift away. So I'll take it to replenish my stash, but also I feel I was hoping this was going to be, I saw it was yellow, so I kind of figured, but I was hoping this was going to be more of like a, like I would love vanilla bean buttercream hand cream because I'm a sweets gal. So coconut daiquiri, I feel like I was more thrilled with the marshmallow mint cocoa. I feel like I, now I have high hopes, like we're going to get another surprise, but I feel like that was probably the surprise. Okay. Uh, we also have a fragrance flower in vanilla bean buttercream. Totally appropriate. It's in the buttercup bell. I believe we got one of these was it last year or was it earlier this year a buttercup bell vanilla bean buttercream best performing fragrance flower it had to have been at least I feel like it's got to have been at least a year ago because I remember bringing it to work and I remember like some of the people that I when I used it some people were employed that are no longer employed and they've been gone for a while so like I know that was kind of a random time equation but I think it's been about a year since this was available or in a whiff box uh total bomb performer like the buttercup bell in combination with vanilla bean buttercream I could smell it like instantly as soon as I put the flower in it was like so strong performing it was amazing so I'm glad to have one of these because I really enjoy the scent in this delivery system and um like the buttercup bell version and it's really good because it's vanilla bean buttercream. I can easily use that any time of year. Okay, and then we do have a uh, scent cup, and it's in mango margarita. Is that the upcoming scent of the month? I feel like it's not. But also, okay, this is really deceiving how thick this is. Like, it's really hard to see through that to make sure, like, you're not missing something and throwing something away. Um... I don't know if this is the next scent of the month, but I'm going to smell it anyway. This is the summary ascent I've ever seen. 
Oh, this is summer in a melt. It's yellow wax like you guys could see. It's definitely mango and margarita. I get mango. It's kind of reminding me of like a Aloha Kiwi passion fruit type of situation. Or mango Mai Tai, Bath and Body Works. It's kind of remi reminding me of those. I don't feel like this is the scent of the month for January though. What is this? <laughs> is this another region scent of the month? I like it though. I I feel like it almost has a hint of like a bergamot or something, but I can't put my finger on it. Like I'm like, am I making that up or am I actually smelling like a hint of bergamot? I think I'm going to test this. I don't know where. I don't know that I want to do this here in my office because it's definitely more like summery. Mango margarita. I have to go investigate if it's the end of the month now. Okay, I think that's everything we got in the whiff box. I don't know if I'm going to do some math here. But the fragrance flowers, I believe, are $14 or $16. That's so bad of me to say. I don't actually know. Because they changed the price on them. They're $16. I feel like they used to be a different price. They, like, kind of bounce them around a little bit. So this is $16. This is already over half of the value you're paying for the box. This is 12. And I mean, this isn't even something you can buy unless you got to hook up somebody with it in their club like myself. Um, but yeah, this isn't even available. So, you know, limited edition perk, if you will. So we got 16 and then we got 12 on top of that. That's 28. <laughs> and then the hand creams are $9, I believe. So you're at 37 you guys math is like my husband's thing i'm not the math person in the household um hand creams are nine dollars yes so i think the full size product value is at 37 and then you do get this sample of potentially the next end of the month or whatever this is <laughs> i should have did some research i'm excited for it whatever it is maybe it's a scent from the new catalog if it's not the scent of the month, I could be hyping this up. Like it really could be the scent of the month. I just don't remember it being called this when I downloaded the flyer. I'm going to go research now that this video is done. But um, if you guys picked up this Swift box and you got marshmallow and cocoa and you're so excited, let me know. Um, how exciting. I'm, I'm thrilled because like I said, I have this in my club. And I feel like so many people, like if you're new to Sensi since November 2020 when that came out, you maybe haven't experienced it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you love this with Box or what your thoughts are on it. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.